Now this is the application we're going to be building. You can hit on get started. Uh, we don't have an account yet, so we're going to sign up for an account. And there we are, we've got our account with a default picture. You can change the picture if you want it to. You can edit profile. You can change whatever other details we also want to change. Let me go find some pictures. There we go. Uh, go with this one. Done. We can also let's let me go ahead and change my bio. There you go. We've got our bio written over here, and we've got our picture reflecting here. We can also go to the home page. We can see the picture. We can also see our name. We can see all the available courses. You can go to each course and you can see if a course has got any details, we will see those details over there. Ethical hacking has got no details. The art has got no details. Flutter has got three. It's got videos, exams and materials uploaded. So we can go to their videos and watch the videos. If it's a YouTube video, it will link us back to YouTube. If it's not, it will play with um, a local player that we will create. We've also got materials. We can view these materials. We can see if it's not downloaded yet, we can hit download and it will download that material for us. It downloads that material for us. And these materials are saved in the cache actually. So whenever your device is clearing the cache, these materials will be deleted. So that's done in order not to occupy your actual the user's actual device storage and we let the device automatically delete it when it's clearing caches so that we can easily the user can easily free up space without actually going in search of where we've stored these on their device so that way they can always come here and see if it's still existing in storage and they can directly open it if it's not direct still existing in storage um then they can't open it basically so that's it so when they tap on that button it will Try to open it and it, you can choose what you want to open that with. Um, go back. We can take exams. Right, we can start an exam, take an exam. Um, the timer doesn't start until we mit, um, choose our first answer and the timer starts. Right, we can exit or submit the question and it asks us if we want to exit. We can exit or cancel and then we can also submit you can see uh, it tells us how, how long we've got left and asks if we actually want to submit so that's it let me exit successfully we've also got this screen where we can select if we want a document um, if we just want exams, so we don't have to go searching for all subjects in order to do the other thingy. We can just select from the tabs over here what we want. We can also see all of our past exams. We haven't completed any exams yet, so we can't see anything. And finally, we've got notifications. These notifications, we can mute notifications or clear our notifications when there are notifications. Um, then these cards are just here for fanciful stuff, basically. So that's that. When we head over to the groups, 
for the group chat we can see we've got these groups we could hit join and it will simply add us to a group so we've joined this group and we can see we can see the messages now oh, that's taking a little bit to load and we can send our own messages hello world and that's our message we could also leave the group as all and now we're no longer part of that group so let's go into creating the actual application